Do you want to add a blurry effect to your starting soon screen? Let me show you how to do it. What's going on guys, my name is Kyle and welcome back to the game department. Today we are going to talk about how to add a blurring effect to your starting soon screen in Streamlabs. Now if you're like me and you tried to find information about this online and all you can find is stuff for how to do it with OBS Studio, welcome. Get a coffee, relax, I'm about to run you through it. It's a lot easier than you think. So first things first is we're gonna make a gradient PNG. Now I'm gonna make mine in Photoshop. If you don't have Photoshop, don't stress. These are really easy to find online. I like to do it myself because I can choose whatever color I wanna do. I can make it a little bit more fine tuned to my stream. But as I said, if you don't have Photoshop, don't stress. You can find them anywhere. But I'm gonna show you how to make them if you have Photoshop. So when you open up your, your new, new project in Photoshop, make it a 1920 by 1080 frame. And what you're gonna do first off is make a new layer. After you've got that layer, hide your background and essentially layer one is a transparent layer, okay? You're gonna go here and click a rectangular tool and then you're gonna drag out a rectangular shape the same size as the canvas. Easy, easy. So after that, you're gonna go up the top here and click gradients. If you don't have gradients, go to the window here. You'll find gradients, click that and then it'll pop up here. Super simple, super easy. Now you've got a bunch of different kinds of gradients, different colors, different styles, but we wanna go basics. And what you're looking for here are these three. You wanna go for the one here with a checkerboard pattern. And what that means is it goes from black and fades into a transparent layer, which is what we want. So you can see the camera underneath it. If it doesn't make sense, it will eventually. Now you wanna click this one, drag it on top of your canvas. And now you can see you've got a black and it fades into a transparent layer. Super simple, very easy, very easy. Now, if you double click on your image here, it'll bring up your gradient, double click your gradient. And now when you go here, you click on the black, you pick on the color, and then you choose whatever color you want. Now I'm gonna go with like a, uh, almost like an orbiting orangey vibe, a little peachy sort of, sort of, sort of situation. That's, that's way too much. Let's, let's go, Let's go color, I like this color. So we'll go this color, easy. Now, if you think it's too much and you've got too much color on the bottom, you see this little tiny dial here. You wanna grab that and you wanna drag it down. And you can see what it does is it brings the color lower and doesn't make it as intense, which is perfect mundo. And then you click okay. And then you click okay. Perfect. How, look how easy that was. It was so simple. Now you have a color, to a transparent layer. So simple. And that's literally all you need to do. So if you click up here, you click File. You want to export that, export that as. Now trust me, it'll make sense in a minute. You want to make sure it's a PNG and a transparent PNG. You want to make sure that it's exported as a 1920 by 1080 at 100% of the scale. Easy peasy squeezy lemons. Now I'm going to export it to my desktop to make it a little bit easier and we're going to call it test test gradient we'll just call it test grad save done now we can close photoshop simple now what we're going to do is we're going to open up streamlabs okay and now we're going to start building our starting soon screen i'm not going to show you exactly how to do all the widgets and all that sort of stuff because i'm sure that if you're at this point of making a blurred starting soon then you're gonna know, okay? I'm gonna make mine real basic. I'll show you the fundamentals on how to do it. And you guys can apply your artistic creativeness to make it more unique to yourself. So to start off, we've got a blank scene, absolutely nothing. Now I've got a smaller webcam. I've got a Logitech C922. I've actually got it stashed up on the other side of the room on a little mic stand attached to a bookcase. So it's looking from the corner of the room all the way down into my frame, which is what I want. So we're gonna add a camera source, video capture device. We're gonna just call it video capture. Now it's the Logitech C922. Don't stress too much about the lighting. I'll fix it up in a second. So we're gonna click default custom. We wanna make it a 1920 by 1080. So it fills the frame, super simple. Uh, and we're gonna configure the video very quickly and that'll make it a heck of a lot easier and make it look a little bit nicer. So we're going to maybe bring up that exposure. So you can see mine's already out of focus. So I'm gonna bring it all the way down and this is essentially what you're gonna have. So this is, this is the camera, this is you guys. Uh, simple. <laughs> this is just weird, looking at myself at the back. Anyway, I digress. So now that you've got your camera, what you're gonna do is you're gonna get your focus 
and you're gonna just slightly bring it out of focus so it gives this nice this nice blurred effect okay you can see on the bottom here everything sort of sits out of focus a little bit it's not exactly the same as having a nice field blur or a nice Gaussian blur but unfortunately Streamlabs doesn't have a, a plug-in like OBS does um, to apply that to the the actual frame itself so we're gonna do it in camera there's no issue with that you can still get a really nice look and I'm gonna show you how to do it so after you do those confirm done simple now Lock your camera, beautiful. You've got a nice frame, uh, mind the shoes in the hallway, but that's, you can see it, okay? That's the vibe. You've got a, a blurred out camera, nice little frame. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add that little gradient PNG that we made earlier. Click add source, you wanna add an image. Now we're gonna browse, we're gonna go to our desktop, blah, 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 and test grad, done. Now, I know it looks a bit intense at the moment because all the color is at the bottom and it's a bit, so what we're going to do is we're going to drag that down to the point where it's not too... Oh gosh, Kyle, calm it down, where it's not too intense. So obviously, up the top here is going to be blank because it fades to a transparent layer, which means the top is not going to be changed, which is fantastic. So I like to... I'm going to bring it down just a little bit more. Easy. It's got a nice little orange hue. If you want a little bit more, all you got to do is bring it up just slightly. Simple. And there you go. So if you want to add text, you just click a chat box. You add a chat box. Add add source. Visual, yep, make sure you've got all your visual settings and your font settings and all that sort of stuff that you like. You can add that down the side. So when somebody wants to chat, they can just chat. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, 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 blah. Perfect. Look at that. Simple. You've got your text comes up. People can see that you're in the frame. I think it's a little bit more inviting and it just makes it a little bit easier for you to make the starting soon screen. Obviously, it's not exactly the same as doing it with OBS and having the, the blur effect and all that sort of stuff, but I think that this does the exact job that you need it to do without being too much and, and, and it's easy. And if you want to make it, it's not hard to do. As I said, you don't need Photoshop. You can find those gradients online. If you want this gradient, I'm sure I can probably link it and you can download it. If I don't have this color, I might make like a blue and a yellow and a green. If they're not on the video, which they probably won't be, leave me a comment if you want them and I'm sure I can make it happen. But super easy. I hope this has helped you. I hope this has been somewhat beneficial. Now, if you want to see how I use this in my stream, I'll leave a little link to it below. It is twitch.tv forward slash the game department. Come say hi. We stream every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and there's plenty of fun uh, to go around. Also, if you want to join a fantastic community on Discord, I will leave our link below. We've got a great bunch of people, and you might even have some fun. We talk about games and memes and all sorts of stuff, and you'll like it. I promise. If you liked this video and found it at least somewhat helpful, don't forget to click the like button below. Also, if you want to see more of the content I post, I post videos every Thursday. Chuck a subscribe, it's completely free, and if you don't, I will... Exactly. <laughs> Other than that, guys, I'm going to leave you to it. I hope you have a good day. I hope you have a good night. Bye!